Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It's Saturday night here in Toronto. That explains the lighting vibe. Uh, in this quick video, I'll be showing you how you can add motion blur in post in Fusion using the vector passes from Blender. Um, as you know, motion blur uh, can be very time consuming sometimes to render inside a 3D package as the renderer has to sample many frames uh, to get some nice smooth motion. Uh, you can do that easily by you know just adding uh, a motion vector pass to your renderer and bring on bring that in fusion and use that to add motion blur in post which is very fast um, so yeah in this quick video i'll be showing you how you can do that in blender and fusion so let's quickly dive in all right so we are in blender now and as you can see this is one of my old projects i did in blender uh, this is just a um, car rushing through a tunnel Obviously, this uh, shot would have a lot of motion blur, which I, which I added in post. Um, so what we need to do is, uh, the very first thing we need to do is actually go into our layer setting and make sure uh, vector is checked. So the Blender knows that it needs to output a vector pass um, in addition to the RGB uh, render. Once that is checked, go into your output settings and you need to make sure we have open EXR multi-layer checked so that it would output EXRs with uh, more than one layer so the vector channel would go into one of those layers. Uh, the next is yeah you just need to click on the folder icon and just uh, say wherever you want the render to go for example we'll just say uh, motion blur RGB so when you do that uh, that's all you need to do and you just set your frame range and render it off and then blender would output uh, exrs with rgb channel as well as a vector channel in there so next i'll open fusion and i'll show you how you can bring all that into fusion and do the motion blur all right so see you in fusion now all right so we are in fusion now uh or you call it davinci resolve i don't know why they did i would have loved if fusion uh, was a standalone application that i can install but anyway uh, so we are in uh, DaVinci Resolve and I'll go to the Fusion tab and as, you, as soon as you do that, you are into this compositing workspace now. Um, so the first thing we need to do is bring our renderer into Fusion. So for that, I'm going to hit Control Space and then type in Loader. So Loader is the node uh, which you can use to bring in footages in Fusion. And I rendered my RGB passes, RGB EXR passes uh, into this folder. They also have the vector passes inside it. And I'm just gonna say, okay. And as you do that, we have uh, the render loaded inside Fusion now. All right, so, but uh, as you can see, the color looks off. It's too dark and saturated. So what's happening is, uh, as this is a linear EXR, uh, this is without any sRGB LUT on top. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it to we're gonna bring this render to an sRGB color space. To do that, I'm gonna click, uh, I'm gonna hit Control Spacebar and type in gamut, and then bring in the gamut node. So gamut node is basically you can do color space conversions. So we're gonna put that into the input of the gamut node, and what we're gonna say that hey source is no change, it's linear just the output should be srgb which should be over here as you do that you can see the colors are back to normal perfect now what we need to do is actually output the vector pass which is currently embedded into this exr render and use that into a vector blur node so to do that i'm gonna copy the exr node i'm just gonna paste it again to just create a copy of that and in the loader reader, we have an option to separate out the channels. So if you click on the format option and then go to channels, we have all of these, all of these bunch of channels over here, which you can shuffle out. So what I'm going to say is for red, green, and blue, that is RGB, replace those channels with our vector channels so that the vector channels uh, get shuffled out into the RGB channel. I know it sounds confusing, but uh, once you do it, it will make more make more sense. So I'm just gonna click on this red slot over here, and it's gonna go to render layer vector X. That's the X direction of the vector channel, and the Y that will be for up and down, uh, and then for the Z that will be for the depth. As soon as we do that, click on it, say one. 
you see this is how the vector channel looks so it's basically um, representing all the pixels in in which direction all the pixels are moving right so we have this right perfect now we have our vector channel we have our exr everything is looking perfect now let's go ahead and add the motion blur all right moving forward uh, to add motion blur to our render we're gonna hit control space and we're gonna put this magical node called vector blur there you go so uh, we have a vector blur node right now there are two inputs which uh, are of interest uh, first is the input of the actual rgb so which is going to be this exr uh, from the gamut node and then we have our vectors so if we put that into this green input that's the vector and if i view that nothing happens because in our control setting, we need to tell the vector blur that, hey, X channel should be the red channel. The Y channel should be the blue, so it should be the green channel, sorry. So as soon as we do that, there you go. Now we have motion blur in our shot. And if I play through and let it cache a little bit, you can see if uh, the node is calculating all the motion blur depending on the vector pass and this is pretty fast much faster than actually you can render this out um so yeah that's how you do it okay all right now we are happy with our result now it's time to get this thing out of fusion so for that i'm just gonna hit control sorry i'm just gonna hit control my mouse is kind of weird today anyway i'm just gonna uh, hit control and then type saver and add a saver node. Saver node is basically used to you know save something out, right? Loader and saver to draw the connection, right? Uh, it's gonna connect that to the input of the saver, and in the saver node, we're just gonna put uh, a file name where we where we want it. I'm just gonna say motion blur output, and I think I'm just gonna output a PNG file for this one. It's gonna put PNG. Sounds good. Uh, see the export settings. Everything looks good. Uh, making sure our ranges are good so this render ends at 99 so right click over here say auto render range and yeah it's been good okay now to render this saver node we're gonna go to fusion and say render all savers and it will start rendering so yeah we'll let it render and i'll be back when it's done and we'll load the result in back in fusion and we'll check it out how it's looking all right all right, so it just finished rendering. I'm gonna bring it in Fusion and let's check it out. So to bring it, I'm just gonna hit the control space again and type loader to bring in another loader. Uh, it's gonna add, and this is our image sequence, our PNG image sequence. So say open, hit one, and this is our render. And if you play through, you can see it has added some really sweet motion blur to our shot and it's pretty accurate because it's based on those motion vectors. Um, so yeah, this is how to do it. It's fast and it requires no plugin. Fusion comes free with DaVinci um, and I guess it's uh, a very nice workflow and it saves a lot, lot of time uh, during rendering. So yeah, please like, share and subscribe to this video. I hope this is helpful and um, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.